Hi, welcome to Click Geek. Part 10 of this video series. In this session, we are going to look at how concatenation works and how concatenation is different from joins, types of concatenations, and as well as keep. Right? Let's switch to Click View Desktop quickly. So let's create a new document. Save it. So I'm going to create two inline tables. So, okay, and another table. Now we have created two tables. So let's reload to fetch the data from the code to the RAM. Okay, now the two tables were there and they have uh, uh, associated with the ID field. Let's do a concatenation. Now, in this case, if you see, these two are having only one field that is ID in common. Okay, let's do concatenation. And reload it. Now look at the values. So let's right click on this preview. Now you can see one, three, five, one, seven, five, six. So now you can see one twice means redundant values. So the concatenation in clip view works like union all in SQL, right? So this is one type of concatenation. Here we are writing a keyword concatenate, then it is performing. So let's rename the field name. So now we have two fields, ID and value, ID and value. Let's reload it. Go to now you can see only one field. So what is happening here? Click view is automatically concatenating it. If number of fields in number of tables and the field names are same, so those tables will automatically concatenate it. That is called implicit concatenation in click view. If you are specifying the keyword concatenation in between two different tables that is called as concatenating forceful or else forceful concatenation so concatenation is nothing but union all right now reload it let's see the values in the back end so we should we shall be having one in twice and five twice Let's create a table box in the front end. And add all these fields. Now you can see only one, one time, five, only one time. So in the back end, twice. So to check the frequency, let's create a list box. And select on show frequency and ID here. So now you can see the frequency. So the ID one has 
2 as frequency and id5 has 2 as in frequency and here you can see so whenever there are repeated values in the back end if you are visualizing that in the front end with a table box you can see only unique combinations okay so how the back end is working how the front end is working it's very important to segregate in between so this is how concatenation will work in click view let's work on keep so join result of join is a single table assume i have a dimension table and i have a fact table so if i combine both the tables it doesn't make sense and as well as it will create number of records as well as the size i mean it will increase the size as well as we are going to put some uh, redundant string values in the fact table so to segregate the dimension facts will separate the dimensions and facts right so assume that i have a fact table and a dimension table and i need to have the common values so what are the keys that are there in the fact i want to have those real dimensions in there so other than those dimensions i don't want i want to eliminate the extra dimensions that are there in the dimension table okay so i want to have a structure but i want to filter the data if i apply join i'll get only one table right so in that case keep will help so let's reload it unknown statement keep so there shall be something in between the two tables so let's add left left keep so how the left join will work it will work on the same manner so all the left and common in right but it will keep this table structure so the resultant table would be one three five and one five from the table two so let's name the table one and table two and reload it So control T. Now you can see the table structure is there, but our table one should be consisting of all one three five, and our table two should have one and five as we have applied a left keep. If I make this one as right keep, then all right means one seven five and one five in common means table one. So table one should consist of only two values let's go there you can see one and five are there and whereas the table two is consisting of one five seven and six so as we have discussed earlier so the first encountered table will be treated as a left table and the preceding one is treated as a right table okay let's do an inner key let's reload it inner key what inner join will do the same thing inner keep will also do but the structure will remain let's reload it now the common values are 1 and 5 the common ids are 1 and 5 you can see both 1 and 5 in uh, both the tables right this is how the inner keep will work let's try outer keep what outer join will do it will uh, join both the tables with all the values means common values in between both the tables and uh, non common values of right and non common of left as well so here outer keep what it will do is by default the click view will follows the outer keep right if you place this one and reload it so whatever the resultant table structure that you are looking at in the I mean, tabular view uh, that is what to call as outer keep okay so there is no such outer keep or as out I mean outer keyword along with keep in click view so that's all for today's session thanks for watching the video please subscribe